Hey everybody, this is Johnny back to one four. Today I'll be showing you how to update your iTunes and QuickTime once they are already downloaded. Now, you can download iTunes, um, and you can, it can come with QuickTime, or you can download QuickTime, and it should come with iTunes, but you will need a program. Now, in your downloads file, <coughs> like, for example, I have iTunes. You have iTunes set up, iTunes 64 bit set up. Now, whatever um, bit it is, it doesn't matter, you can update it pretty easily. Now, you go to your OSC file, make sure you have iTunes file, or a bonjour file, okay, which includes the updater, um, and it should have an Apple software update, the program should come with either bonjour or iTunes, so wherever you save, wherever that file is saved, you just want to go through your program files or something, but with Windows 7 you can press search, so I'm going to type in Apple software update now it's here yeah you click it you should check for new software and then the software will go over here yeah should be here and then it shows you the keyboard stuff there should be an update here if you do have an update if there's no update there is no update there's new software that you can download and um, there should be an update. You tick the box just like you do with this. Once you tick the box, should have a tick in the box and you press install. How many uh, you've done once you finish? Should load and you press quit. Uh, thanks, that's Johnny Bach 2114. Signing out.